one of the things that stood out to me in this whole war act between the Israelis and the Palestinians and Hamas attacking the Jews or the Israelis is the fact that they murdered a girl named Shani. Not only did they murder her, they raped her, murdered her, and then paraded her body on the back of a truck. The thing that stood out to me the most was the fact that she was named Shani. And of all the people that the media mentioned being killed and murdered was this young girl named Shani. Of all. Let me tell you what a cult energy people are playing with currently, which is not going to be good. And I'm going to read to you guys a passage from an astrology book that indicates what is transpiring. So only a cultist or people that are into astrology are going to be able to recognize this. So Shani is actually a Hebrew name which symbolizes the color crimson, which is the color red. Now what planet is associated to the color red in astrology? It's Mars. Mars is also the planet of war and aggression. In Hinduism, the word Shani also represents the planet Saturn. It translates into Saturn, essentially. Saturn is a planet of restriction. It's a planet that indicates longevity and it can indicate oppression, right? So this whole war is all about oppression. The Palestinians feel oppressed. That's why they're acting out in this war, in this act of aggression currently towards Israelis. And each side has their reasons for doing what they have done over time. So in astrology, Shani, Saturn is a planet of karma and retribution. Look at the meaning of retribution. Retribution is punishment inflicted on someone as a form of vengeance for a criminal act. So I guess you could say the Palestinians are acting out of retribution, right? Towards the Israelis. And now, as a result of this action, now the Israelis are going to be acting out of retribution. So, again, they murdered a girl named Shani Saturn Crimson Red Mars. And if you look at the meaning of what it means to have these two energies conjunct Mars and Saturn in astrology, and I'm going to read to you what it indicates. So pay close attention. This is a passage from one of my favorite astrologers. When Mars and Saturn are in conjunction, there is nothing but fire and explosions. Mars is a hot, dry, and fiery planet. Saturn is cold, dark, and a reserved planet. Mars is known to represent the element of fire, while Saturn represents oil. When fire meets oil, there is nothing but more fire. Mars is a soldier of the army while Saturn is a general of the army. When a soldier and general are in the same house, it symbolizes a war zone. Only inside a war zone will you find a general and a soldier at the same time. This conjunction can cause physical harm to the native like accidents, cuts, and burns. It can also cause one to harm others, which can lead to stabbing, shooting, rape, and killing by any means. So this passage goes off to say that this is the most negative conjunction that can occur in the zodiac. There's a tendency of being a natural born rebel. These individuals are very independent and do not like following the law. This is why they get in legal trouble most of their life. There is a lot of tension and fear in the house where the two reside. There is a constant war happening in the area of life where this conjunction occurs. So this is a passage analyzing the conjunction occurring within people's astrological birth charts. But these are concepts that are coming out in the actions of what is transpiring in Israel. Palestinians killed a girl named Shani Saturn whose name also is associated to the planet Mars. And again, of all the people that were murdered, the media puts out this story of this girl named Shani. Do you guys not see the cult topics that are being played? To me, this symbolizes that 
people are awakening a beast and you guys don't even know what energies that you guys are playing with this is probably indicative of a very long lasting war very destructive war that is to come not only that but we have an eclipse approaching on october 14th which i think may agitate the situation even further there's nothing i can say because people are going to have arguments on both sides but i just want people to be aware of the big energies that are transpiring with the initiation of these aggressive acts and i have heard astrologers say that we are going to be entering a very pivotal time period of wars probably into the 2030s okay 